Speaking of numbers, will there be a record turnout for next Tuesday's midterm elections? Only a third of the millennial generation plans to vote, even though it's the largest age group eligible to vote. Fox 14's Chelsea Jones talks to a political science professor about some of the reasons why. Chelsea. Well, Sarah, ULM's Dr. Joshua Stockley says millennials have the numbers to be the most powerful decision makers in the country, but there are some roadblocks in the way. They're soon to outnumber the baby boomers as the largest generation, millennials, who are between the ages of 18 to 34. But when it comes to voting... So I feel like, like it's important to like vote and like make your opinion known and say, like, because you do have a voice. They're the least likely to do it. I had school. I had so much work to do. I just didn't have time. And I actually did go to the DMV, but it was, it was too much. A significant portion of this group, they're in college. Dr. Stockley says there is a common misconception that millennials don't vote because they're lazy. However, he says there are institutionalized hurdles that make it less likely for millennials to vote. A good question is, why, why don't we vote on the weekend? Why don't we automatically register any individual to vote in this country so we can take away some of the impediments to registering and to voting? Chantel Oquezi and other millennials know there is power in their votes. It's important to make change happen. And us being millennials, this is a different way we think and we see things. As voting, you have the responsibility to change and influence what you want to, I guess, make happen in your community. And they all agree there is danger in not voting. The system is never going to change. Now to put it all into perspective, Dr. Stockley says millennials almost lost top scholarships due to budget shortfalls. And he wonders if this would be a topic of conversation if millennials were the dominant voting group in the society. Live in the media. Oh, I'm actually in the studio. Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, Chelsea.